welcome back to Genuine Coder guys. This is the third video in the JavaFX Library Management System Dev Open series. And in this video, you'll see how to add a book into the database. So uh, for accessing the previous codes, I have committed at the end of each tutorial video. I mean, at the first end, at the end of the first tutorial, I made end of first tutorial commit and second end of second tutorial, etc. So you'll be able to access the video easily. So let's do the coding so uh, as we have seen in the last video we have set up the database and now I want to uh, borrow one more function from my previous project and this is the execute query and execute action method so I'm going to copy and paste both of this function and uh, going to paste it in the database handler so in the database handler I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to control uh, press control shift I in order to fix the import so the execute query and execute action I uh, the execute query method is used for executing query a query is something like the select statement a select statement always returns some kind of data suppose if you want to uh, access the list of books then you can execute select star from book so uh, that will return a result set object that's why we i have made this execute query function the execute action method is executed for is used for set uh, you doing some action in the database like inserting a data or creating a table something like that and the only difference between uh, these two function is that this function does not uh, return any values along I mean it return boolean function to indicate whether the action was successful or not and it will execute the it will uh, execute the statement using the execute function whereas in query it uh, it is executed using stmt dot execute query the stmt is nothing but the statement object we have created uh, from the connection I mean uh, when we created the connection uh, from the connection uh, con dot create statement is used for creating the statement the statement is a global object so once we set up the book table the statement is already created so that's fine then let us go back to the control skeleton and this is our program and we have given the name title ID author and publisher and when the user presses on the save button we have to push the data into the database so this add book is the one that will be executed when the user press on the save button so I am going to take the data string ID is equal to ID dot get text uh, I'm sorry it's no text field uh, sorry uh, book ID the variable both the variable cannot be same because there is already a variable called ID so ID dot get text okay I'm going to repeat it and that can be done using control shift down arrow for repeating the same and the book ID uh, book or the then book name book publisher so that's good then ID dot get text and uh, ID, uh, instead we have to use order then instead of ID we will have to use the uh, title I think title dot get text then book publisher publisher so we got all the required data from the user and if you want some kind of consistency check to check whether the ID is not empty I mean if uh, that can be done using book ID dot is empty is empty if any one of the field is empty we will abort the process so book or the dot is empty or <coughs> book name is empty sorry book name is empty or if the publisher book publisher is empty then we will uh, display message for that we can use the alert class alert alert equal new alert and that could be an uh, alert type should be error then alert dot set header and I'm going to set the header text to now and I'm going to set the alert dot set content text to please enter in all fields Uh, 
I'm sorry, there's a typo, I think, field. Oh, sorry. Alert, then alert dot show and wait. Okay. Then we will return the function because the saving operation will be aborted when the any of the end, uh, entries are empty. Then we will, if it is not empty, we will come here. And now we want to create a SQL insert statement uh, for uh, adding this data into the database some people use prepared statement for but in my case i like to use the normal sql command using the string uh, using uh, string concatenation so i'm going to write this string q u equals insert into book so our database name is definitely the book that we have created book then the first one is id title order but that's a order so i'm going to copy this one for reference and I am keeping it as here for knowing the, I mean, to get the structure of the database. So that's it, insert into book. Then I'm going to give the name values. This is the SQL syntax, right? Then I need an open parenthesis. Then I need a closing parenthesis. So that's the basics. Then I need a plus operation here. And for each string, I need to add a symbol apostrophe between a string value uh, before entering a string value for that I have added an apostrophe and in between the last one too I need an apostrophe and in between that I am going to add the book ID because the first one is ID so I'm going to add the book ID uh, there is uh, we need a one more plus operation there so we got it then uh, here instead of book ID I'm going to add book author uh, I'm sorry it should be a book title because after ID it is title you can override the uh, it is book name okay uh, override the uh, order of insertion by giving the order here in a comma separated fashion but in order to keep things simple let me do this in this way then order uh, book order that's fine then we need book publisher book publisher then at last we need a boolean value and the boolean value can be easily set up uh, it does not need an apostrophe so i'm going to remove these uh, single quotes and here i'm going to give the value true the default value is true but anyway i'm going to give the value true uh, to true so we have given the book id book title or the publisher and the final one is available now let us just uh, print the statement in order to make sure that the, it does not contain any syntax errors so that's fine now what we want to do is uh, we want to execute the uh, SQL, uh, SQL statement it is not query sorry so uh, I'm going to do that by using the handler object that is the database handler dot execute there is action and query this is not query so i am going to use the execute action and queue you it always return a boolean value indicating whether the op operation was success or not so i am going to place it in an if statement and uh, it will execute like that and it else i mean if it is an error error then it will execute the else part otherwise it will execute the if condition then I'm going to reuse this alert and I'm going to paste it here then uh, if it was success then alert alert type dot information then I will show success otherwise if it was a failure then I need to show that it is failed so error then failed so that's it I think it's okay so far. Let us run the program. And I am going to give a name for the book. Let it be Hardy Potter. Then book ID, I'm going to give B100 and book called the JKR. And publisher, I don't know, ABCD. Then let us press on the save button. As you can see, there is a syntax error encountered at the line true. Uh, the problem is we haven't given a comma for separating these values. I mean, sorry for that. First, uh, when you look into the query, you can see that I haven't printed the query yet. 
Uh, see, this is B100, then Harry Potter, JKR, ABCD, true. We can do like that. First, we have to add a comma. Then after this, we need a comma. Then after this, we need a comma. After this, we need a comma. Then uh, at the end uh, value, I mean after true, since there is no more arguments, we don't want a comma. So that was the problem. Then let us run the code again. So I'm going to give the name Harry Potter, then book ID B100, JK Rowling, then publisher maybe ABCD. As you can see, it was a success. So that's it, guys. That's how you, you push uh, or add something into the Derby database. So I think the time is over. In the very next video, I will show you how to check whether it is there. I mean, to retrieve the data and print it on the system dot outstream. So we will have to add a cancel handler too. So as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.